All right, can you guys believe it? We're at quilt number four now. So this week I'm going to be making a strawberry themed quilt. Um, a couple years ago, my aunt asked me to make a strawberry quilt for her other niece having her first baby, so her first daughter. And so now she's having baby number two and we're gonna make another strawberry quilt. So the first strawberry quilt looked like this. I actually had a lot of scraps left over um, from that one and so I'm going to incorporate them into this next one. So here's the pattern I'm going to use. I found it on Etsy so I will put the link to that pattern in the description below and let's take a look at some of my fabrics. I'm going to show you the fabric I had initially first and then we're going to look at the stuff I pulled to fill in the missing pieces. As you saw in the, in the first one, it, did, it had four different strawberry colors, pink, red, yellow, and blue. So I still got some of those. So here's my pinks. We got my strawberry print and then my blender that went with it. I've got, I've only got my red stripe left because I used the coordinate with it for my, I did a 4th of July quilt. Sure, I made this strawberry quilt and it was too cute to pass up to put there and now I'm without the coordinate so but I took care of that so don't you worry and then I've got my yellows so this is actually I had this in red it was so cute but this one's gonna be a little different and then some little strawberries and then I've got some blues so there's my original ones and this is actually I use this for the backing so I might try and incorporate this I don't even know how big this piece is I might try and incorporate this to be the back of this quilt as well in one way or another so what I did with each print or each colorway is I added in a solid so a Kona and then I also added in a blender uh, the red one I had to find another one to go in with as well so you're gonna see an extra red print in the in the gathering in the bundle of what I've got at work last week um, just to fill in the gaps so I've got a pink a yellow a blue and a red so I did take my scraps with me to match this didn't wasn't just me guessing and then I've got a light blue a yellow two different reds so this is what I replaced the birds with I found these little cross stitch hearts I thought those were pretty cute and then a bedrock and then this pink tone on tone one so what I'm gonna do is I've got to start getting some strips cut and then start making my strips into different sections and then get my strawberry bodies put together first um, I didn't I didn't shop for any um, stem fabric or any background fabric just yet. I wanted to get my strawberries together, at least the the piece section together first before I get my stems and then I can figure out a good green for them which I might have in this fabric stash that I've got of my room and um, then figure out a background color because as you saw in the pattern photo the background was black but I just don't know how I feel about doing a black background for a baby quilt um, yes it looks super cool but I feel like these colors are so soft that I don't know if black's the way to go so I'm gonna get all my strawberry bodies all pieced together tomorrow is Super Bowl Sunday which doesn't affect me um, I'm not a sports watcher so it's gonna be a sewing day for me um, I have tomorrow and Monday off because that's my usual work schedule last week was a a week straight uh, six days straight since my bosses were out of town um, so my schedule got switched up a little bit so it'll be nice to get back on track to my regular Sunday Monday off where I can relax and sew and get things done but I also gave myself three weeks to do this quilt with my weekend quilt last week so I think we'll be right on track so now that I've got all my fabrics I'm gonna get cutting later today so I'll check back in then so here's most of my strips all cut. It turns out that I need five by five 
blocks instead of instead of four by four. So now I need to go back and get one more color for each strip set. And I totally forgot to do that today at the shop. So today's Tuesday. That's a oops on my part. But I still have things to do. So I will get my Sojo going in other ways tonight. And the other ways that my Sojo is going to be going, I've still got half square triangles to trim. It's my last batch of half square triangles. So once I get these all trimmed, then I can start making my star box again and then hopefully get this quilt top finished. So I got the rest of the fabric I need for my, so I get more in the even light, um, for the strawberry quilt. So simply I got a, like a whitish, it's the Riley Blake white for my backing, my backing, my background. Here we are. I got a grunge in each of the strawberry colors. The pink one was tricky to match. It's kind of a funky shade of pink. Um, when looking at them. So there's a grunge for each of them to finish off the five strips and then some different greens to do the stems and then the background fabric. And so now I can go home and cut these later tonight and start pairing things up and get some strips going, which I feel good about having. This will be, so this will be week one of three finishing up for this quilt. Um, and I feel good about that because now that everything is at least cut, by the end of week one, um, even if I don't get sewing until Friday for whatever reason, today's Wednesday, um, then at least I will be somewhat ahead of the game. I have Friday night hangout this week, so then I will definitely be sewing by then. So I'm going to go inside and get my hair trimmed up. See you later. Especially the first day of this project even though I started one week early so let's see where we're at so I've got all my strips sewn together for my colors and then cut into the sections so then I'm gonna scrappy them up so my pink and my red I still have to do my yellow and my blue ones are all done so they're in the blocks and then my greens are all cut I think I need to cut four more strawberry worth because I think I'm going to do four strawberries on the back. That's some green scrap from, from the last one. And I just need to cut my background fabric out. So tomorrow I plan to finish these and go from there. done this week is I've made another batch of cookie dough so it is now a pizuki break time and then I'm gonna sew my red squares together into strawberry chunks and then repeat with pink ones
got all our patches done. So five patches. So here's blues and yellows like you saw last time. And then we've got red and pink are all done. So there we are. Super cute. So there you have it. Our first week is complete. Um, all my strawberry blocks are in five patch pieces and now it's next step is going to be putting on their corners and turning them into strawberry shapes. So we'll see you next week when our strawberries start to look more like strawberries. But there's a peek at them, all the blocks. Look at all the colors. Oh, it's going to be so cute. So we'll see you next week.